Hi, Enviro classes. You guys are going to be doing the simulator through National Geographic called You Have the Power. First thing you need to do on your simulator is click the Start button. There are three locations that are available. If you want to do a location like LA or Miami, choose the coastal city. If you'd like to do a location like Denver, there's Mountain Town. If you would like to do something like Tulsa or St. Louis, Plain City is a good choice. I'm going to start in Plain City. Good thing to read right before you start the simulator is to actually go through the little reading. It will give you a little hint as to what resources are available in the area. So the Plain City says strong city winds blow across the flat central grasslands surrounding the Plain City. Little rain in the area means lots of sunny days. There are no large rivers nearby. Once you choose your location, click start. This will lead you to the resource page. So this is where you're going to kind of figure out what's the best type of energy for the area you're going to be working in. So anytime you move a slider, it's going to give you information about the resource on the right here. So you can scroll up and down. This one tells you what hydropower is and explains where it comes from and what you need to use hydropower. Uh, there's also the pros and cons of hydropower as you move up and down. So you can make a decision of how much hydropower you want. If you want to learn more about renewable resources versus fossil fuel or nuclear, you can click on these big buttons right above each of the categories of resources. Renewables is going to take you just through all of the types of renewable resources, what they are, and it can also give you information as to why they're good and some of the concerns with them. You guys read articles on fossil fuels, but this is just a nice quick summary of what fossil fuels are, and then again, the pros and cons of them, and then nuclear is the last one here. You, again, you can slide through and read how nuclear power is used, and again, the issues that arise from nuclear power. You can move all of these sliders back and forth. You guys can see you have a budget right here. If you exceed your budget, it's going to kind of stop you and tell you you need to choose other resources. The amount of each resource is on the left over here. Hopefully you see my mouse with the little arrow. So for example, hydropower will cost you $11,000 per 1%. Of your power service you need a hundred percent of your power service so as you scroll over you can see your percentages go up over here and then your budget will go down as you spend the money last thing down here says how does the community think if you click on this it's going to kind of give you guys information on what people think about all the different types of power you have to choose the power sources in order to figure that out so i'm going to just put a few things in here so i'm going to choose coal some solar a little bit of wind and let's say some nuclear power and then what does my community think and then all of these different areas tell you what they think of each type of the energy that you've chosen for the community. If you want to look at places that are similar to the one you chose, you can click on the similar places tab and then here are some examples of different towns that are similar to the one that you are trying to figure out the energy resource for. And then this last tab talks about the different types of energy. And as you can see, this goes into a much more detailed resource and explains what the resources is. If you want to get a little bit more knowledge about it, you can go back to your simulator just by clicking this tab up here. And then you just keep kind of going through until you have 100% power. The goal is to be either zero budget or under budget for all of the resources that you have. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to Mr. Harmson or myself. We also will have PLT at 9.30 to 10.30 today. Hope you guys have a good day. Bye.